Hey there, I'm Jenny T with SimpleSewingProjects.com and welcome to another episode of Ask Jenny T. This is where my readers get to ask me questions related to their sewing projects and I answer them through video direct or directly or through the blog. If you have any questions regarding your sewing project, please feel free to email me at JennyTSews at gmail.com or you can visit SimpleSewingProjects.com and just click on contact us and you can send me an email. So for this episode, I have a request. Let me read it to you. Okay, so Amanda is in the process of planning to sew balloon shades. Now, if you don't know what balloon shades are, I'll, I'll, I'll put an image in here um, in, a, in a minute, but they're basically uh, lovely window treatments that have like poofs, if you will, with inverted pleats between each poof or balloon okay and um, they're very pretty so I will uh, put an image in here inside the video and when I go to edit okay so she's asking how do I get the pattern in each balloon to match like in a pattern repeat so what so what she's trying to figure out is is that she has a piece of fabric or a you know bunch of fabric that has a distinct pattern to it and instead of just sewing together a big wide piece of fabric and pleating it and sewing it up, when you do that, the, the pattern will be off and it'll be different on each face of the balloon, okay? She wants it so that on each face of the balloon, it looks identical. So just for imagine for a second that the fabric had a picture of a chicken repeated all over the place and you wanted the chicken to be centered in, in the same place on the face of each balloon. Well, how would you do that? Because it's a little tricky for planning. So I'm going to do the best I can to explain how I would tackle this project and I'm going to use my drawing software to, to explain it. Okay, so I'm going to switch now to um, my drawing program so I can draw and explain and hopefully help uh, you guys plan for your next balloon shade or balloon balance project. And actually really these instructions will help you really with any kind of planning when you're trying to uh, work with your fabric to center a piece of it and to work with your horizontal and vertical repeat. Okay? All right. Talk to you in just one second. This is a balloon shade. Okay? And you can find an article on my blog that actually shows you a bunch of different types of balloon shades just for inspiration. But as you can see, there is these poofs. And where what divides each balloon, if you will, is an inverted pleat. So you have an inverted pleat, inverted pleat, inverted pleat, etc. Okay? And so notice that in this case, the pattern isn't really exactly the same in each balloon. It kind of shifts a little bit. So let's just pretend that you wanted this green piece to be in the exact same place on each on each uh, balloon. And how would you do that? Okay, so I'm going to show you now in the next view with my drawing program. Okay, so I've kind of drawn out here a a width of of fabric that um, let's just pretend that you planned for a balloon shade that had one, two, three, four balloons, okay? And this is not a to scale drawing by any means. And let's just pretend that you had pieced your fabric so that it was wide enough based on the instructions to be able to, to uh, hem and pleat this piece of fabric into your balloon shade that would have four balloons. All right. Now what you're looking at here is uh, these hard lines would be the outer edge of the balloon and this dotted line would be the center of the inverted box pleat. So really this hard line here would be folded to line up here on the dotted line and this edge would go here. And so there's actually a folded line not, I didn't draw it right in the center on both of these, okay? What's most important here is to understand where the outside edge of each balloon would be. And just so you that you can see a little clear, once this thing was pleated and raised, you'd um, 
the, let me just kind of draw it really rough here for you. Um, okay, you'd start to get the, the, the swoop of each, of each swag, of each balloon, okay? So this would maybe be the bottom edge as you, as you kind of gather up along the inverted, inverted box pleats, okay? And I'm not gonna go into detail about how to measure and all that kind of stuff. That's actually in the instructions in the ebook and it's well illustrated. This video would be an hour long if I had to explain that. If you want instructions on how to make the balloon shade in general, I will leave a link to that ebook and you can take a look, okay? So, notice that on this patterned fabric though, when you look into the center of each of these balloons, this the patterns don't match up. This one's almost blue in the center, this one has the blue dot to the right, this one has it to the left, and, and it would be, you know, it would be fine, but if that's not what you want, then there's a problem, okay? So what if you want your fabric to have this blue dot to be centered in each of your balloons. How would we do that? Well, let me um, pause this video for just a second. I'm gonna remove some of these lines and uh, explain how I would, would tackle this, okay? Okay, so let's pretend, oh, I locked this that I roll this fabric off the bolt. So it actually wouldn't be this wide, right? It would be more like more like this. Let me get rid of that. Um, and so you wouldn't see this stuff here. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna delete it, okay? All right, so let's just pretend that this is the fabric that you rolled off the bolt, all right? And you, are going to want to have this blue dot in the center of each of your balloons. So how would you do that? Well, let me just say right now, in, in order for this to work for you, you're going to waste a lot of fabric. So prepare yourself that you're going to be using a lot more fabric than if you just um, let the fabric stay as is, okay? That's just, because you're going it's just the way it's going to line up. So this is how I would do it. So first I would measure the uh, the horizontal repeat, meaning the distance between each each pattern basically. So from the edge of this circle to the edge of the next circle, the edge of the next pattern where it repeats, I would measure that distance. And let's just say that the measurement that I get is um, a horizontal repeat of 15 inches, okay? Okay, let me just make this a lot smaller than this. Than this. All right, so let's just say I have a horizontal repeat of, of 15 inches and and let's say that based on the measurements that you've done for the exercise based on the ebook, you discover that your width of your balloon is, um, we'll say it's going to be 12 inches. That's actually a very common measurement. So we'll just say it's going to be 12 inches for the balloon width. Okay. All right. Now, According to, the, to my instructions, when you plan for each balloon, you're going to allow for, um, I believe, uh, six inches on each side of the balloon to create one side of an inverted box pleat. So from edge to edge of your balloon, okay, all right, this is a folded edge over here, this is a folded edge over here, that would be 12 inches, okay, just bear with me here for a second, and then you would need 6 inches, I'll just make that different gray here, you need 6 inches to create one side of the inverted box pleat, right? 
You need to do the same on the other side. Okay. All right. And then for each balloon, you would basically have the same thing. All right. So you know that for each balloon, it's going to be 6, 12, and 6. So you're going to need a total of fabric that is 24 inches wide for each of these main pieces. So the reason I'm putting this out is because you're going to want to cut a piece of fabric that is 24 inches wide plus a half inch to piece these together. Because what you're going to do is you're going to create panels for each of your balloons. So you're going to have one panel, two panels, and on. If you have you know three, there's a third panel over here. And each panel is going to be cut out independently. And so what you'll do is you'll add in a half inch on each, you know, a half inch on this side, you're going to add in and a half inch on the other side to create the seam allowance because you're going to end up piecing them together right in the center there. And that's a perfect place to piece it because that seam will be hidden inside the inverted box pleat. Okay, so there's a half inch here and a half inch here. So what you're really cutting out is a panel that is your balloon width plus six and a half plus six and a half. So seven plus, so sorry, one plus 24 is 25 inches. In this example, I would cut out a piece of fabric panel that is 25 inches wide. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and I will measure out centering this circle, because that's what I want. Maybe you even um, get a you know wide piece of cardboard that's that's the width to help you, but you would basically measure. I would measure out 25 inches. All right, we'll just pretend that's 25 inches, and I'll I'll make it uh, slightly transparent so you can see. Okay, so let's say this is 25 inches wide, and I would I would you know mark on each side so it's equal distance from the center of this blue circle so that it's now centered horizontally. Okay, now you're probably thinking, well, how do I center vertically? Well, it's the same concept. Once you have the horizontal width going for you, then you can um, decide where you want it to be on your balloon. Now, because the balloon will be gathered up, you'll want this pattern to be closer to the top, so you can kind of guesstimate a little bit and you can say, well, I want it to be about eight inches from the top. Okay, great. So now you know. Eight inches from the top of this is where you're going to maybe do your top cut. And then you can then from then on use your, use your instructions to get your cut length. So you'll measure from that top edge down your, your cut length. Okay. Okay, and the width is going to be how I calculated here. This is actually your balloon width. Okay, I, think, I, don't, I, think, I think I might call it poofs in the, in the ebook. All right, but it's going to be the cut length by the the balloon width plus six plus six plus another inch for the um, seam allowances, and you're going to do that for each one. Now, what's going to happen is is that you're going to waste fabric because you'll discover that as you cut this out, you won't have enough fabric to the left of this blue circle to create another one. So you'll now have to move down your fabric to the next. So let's say this is the, the actual cut. Notice that I'll have to now move all the way down here to start the next cut, okay? And you might waste some fabric in the middle here and waste you might waste all this fabric on the right-hand side as well in order to get that next perfect cut. So once you have your dimensions of each panel, okay, again, it's this width plus your cut length and you'll have to decide where you want that top edge to be so that each cut is uniform around your centered design. And then once you have those panels cut, you'll, you will lay them right sides together and sew them together with a half inch seam, okay, until you have one big sewn panel that is the width, the cut width based on the instructions that you have. And then after that, you, you will just uh, you know, sew your side seams, sew your bottom hem based on the instructions, pleat, 
and you will start to see that these things will become centered as you do that. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you're looking at this without looking at the ebook for the blue instructions, it might be a little a little weird, but I think that once you look through the instructions and then watch this video, it should be a lot clearer to you. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email at, at jennytsoes at gmail.com, and I would love to hear from you and answer your questions. Thanks so much for watching, and check me out at simplesewingprojects.com.